What's up guys, it's Nap here. So recently I've been doing a lot of Revenants and although I think it's a really fun way to PVM, I've decided to stop doing it and finally put together this loot video. So without wasting any time, let's get into the loot. Everything in my top tab is my Revenants loot tab, including the Thieving Brawlers and Bloodweed Seeds. So in total, I did receive 46 rare drops with a total grand exchange value of 68 million GP which took me a total of 29 and a half hours. For those wondering, I didn't do this all in one big marathon. I did it over two weeks as I stopped to make the Revenant guide, which I recently uploaded on my channel. So some of the best drops worth highlighting here are seen in the top row. This is all the tier 78 non-corrupted ancient warrior equipment. So I think I got pretty lucky getting 11 of these items in total. Although yes, I didn't get the best drop, which is a Stadius Warhammer. Although I was happy I at least got one real tier 78 weapon, a Vesta's Longsword. I'm not including the Morrigan's Javelin because it's more of an ammunition than anything. In terms of statues, there really isn't much to say. All the statues I got were worth less than 1 million GP apart from the Ancient Statuette, which is worth 3 million GP. And as you can see by my cash pile, I desperately need that sort of gold. And following the statues, I have all the corrupted loot. As you guys may or may not know, this stuff is borderline useless, and I may end up keepsaking some of it, if it looks cool or even dismantling it. If it has a chance at decent components, I'm not really sure. I haven't thought about it too much, as it is pretty much junk. So what I decided to do was just to put together all the figures from all the kills, and to make these two graphs. We have the total revenant kills, just categorizing it by each different type of revenant and then another graph showing all of the drops and breaking it down into the type of drop from each revenant. So I was pretty surprised that they were all relatively comparable in terms of the amount of tier 78 pieces of gear they gave, despite such a variance in the amount of total kills, whilst the amount of statues and corrupted drops I got were quite sporadic. From this, I think the most interesting thing about looking at the overall data is it's rather consistent for drops in general, although there are some extremes such as hobgoblins and werewolves appearing extremely good and vampires appearing extremely bad. I think it really is just a case of it's too small of a sample size to really draw any conclusions and it is just something to look at out of enjoyment and you've really got to take it with a pinch of salt. I would assume that if someone else did the exact same thing, their results could vary dramatically. Another thing I found interesting was, over the whole 29 and a half hours, I only had 9 PK attempts to kill me, and none were successful, although naturally, I don't actually have a way to prove that. Along with that, over the entire period, I did average 1 drop every 39 minutes, and the longest amount of time I went without a drop was 2 hours and 45 minutes. But that pretty much wraps it up. I can honestly say I find Revenants very addictive because of the RNG nature of it. You could be one Revenant kill away from getting a Stadius Warhammer, which in terms of Grand Exchange value is 207 mil, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. But regardless, I'm going to keep myself from going back anytime soon just because it does require a fair amount of focus. And as you can see, I've spent nearly 30 hours there over the last two weeks, so it really has taken up a lot of my time recently. So have you tried out Revenants? If you have and your experience is vastly different, I'd be really interested in what was different. Also stay tuned because over the next few days, I'm going to be looking into how I can go about upgrading all this tier 78 gear into tier 88 gear and I will report my findings once I do. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more Iron Man content, Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Yeah.